Uh, welcome everybody to Stavi's World. 904-800 Stav. Call in. We'll solve all your problems. We got a we got a nice panel today. We're of course in our in our new personal studio <laughs> that we decorated. Uh, it's gorgeous, by the thank way. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in New York. We're in Astoria, Queens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have returning Langston Kerman, of course. Fuck yeah. And we have Mandel holding it down. Thanks for coming, thank dude. You. We've banished Langston to the non-fat zone of the yeah, podcast. Absolutely. You don't get the absolutely. whole setup. It does feel like you're trying to make me feel smaller in a way. And to be honest, I think we need more of that. Yeah, we need more dude. banishment of Langston. I agree. To yeah, it's such a skinny I agree. ass in the corner, you dumb bitch. Very rarely do the levers of power, our fat hands <laughs> controlling yeah, the absolutely. pushing the levers of power. And today they are. And so we've we've gotten him there. We've got his the most handsome, best shaped guy. He is relegated oh, to the no. shittiest spot. Absolutely, uh, I love that. <laughs> that's what we're, that's what we're doing. Good, yeah, bro. dude, I know. Most podcasts, you two show up, you're definitely getting the shittier chair usually. Absolutely. If you two show up, they're definitely putting him up somewhere nicer. Listen, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't stand up for him in that no, situation. No, no, no. His podcast. That's how life is, man. Yeah. Man, what do you want from me? There's injustice everywhere. Yeah, what do you want me to fix it? <laughs> This baby's dying in the Congo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm getting the better chair. I'm a handsome, light-skinned man. That's how things work. <laughs> bro, it's sick, man. On his podcast with Bori, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Bori always come in pixelated. Yeah. <laughs> they in the same room. He got the 4K camera. He got Bori on a Nokia. <laughs> Me and Boy about to start a podcast. <laughs> Slandering oh, Langston. Oh shit, this would happen. Oh, they let America get too fat. Yeah. And we have now outnumbered you. And that's the thing. Once just like the once the workers wake up, then the fats wake up. Yeah, it's absolutely. over for everybody. Like, can a year I say and a half something? that you guys are all alive at the same time. <laughs> That's funny. It's gonna be scary. Yeah, hours. yeah you guys are just gonna get your base up a mountain. It's like up a up, up like not even that steep a hill, just up a slight yeah. incline. It's like, all right, we'll, we're fine. They'll talk themselves out. Man. They try and storm the citadel. Uh, we'll get up here. Y'all don't realize it's hard being fat, bro. I yes. remember at one festival, it was me and two. Other fat comedians, uh -huh. we got in a Uber together. Ooh, All of us, four hundred pounds. That's tough. <laughs> and, the dude was a, and the dude was an Asian. Not putting that. He was, uh, but he was Asian. Not saying that affects anything. But he was I Asian have some thoughts driver. when you're done. But yeah, and then he gave us one star. <laughs> he gave me a one star ride because oh, of obesity. That's sick. And that's why I'm on a campaign to get Langston up out of here. Whoa. God. Did he let you sit in the front, or were all three of you in the back? Nah, well, nah, we had to put somebody. If, we, of if all of us was put in the front, if, if we was all in the back, his bumper would have been on the yeah. ground. Yeah. Sparks <laughs> would have been flying. Can I say something? Can yes, I, you can. I, I don't Go know off. If I'm doing a lot. Please, no, no, please. Bro, I really appreciate you because you really are a fat icon. Thank you. Oh, that's you're gonna, gonna, make, you're doing you're gonna make me blush, bro. Nah, Thank man, you. Man, you really doing it for fabulous. And another thing that you're doing, you almost got my haircut I always wanted. Thanks, dude. Yeah. You got the colder set with the long hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always wanted the colder set with a ponytail. Mm. The ponytail's what do you think? This is for nothing? No, nah, we're getting the there, bro. Yeah. We're yeah. close. We're close. Look at this shit, dude. Nah, once you, know? you do that, you you're a comedy we're icon. We're close. We're close. Yeah. That's the next. I've got a couple things in the you yeah. guys are catching me. I like to think of myself. I'm in the cocoon right now. Mm. You know, I didn't mean to come out, but, you know, we had the Netflix thing, the yeah. Mulaney show, which you guys are working on. Uh, that's how we met. You were yeah, doing absolutely. warm up yeah. on the show uh, and you're writing on it, obviously. But we've been boys, you know, since, yeah. since the Mike days, uh, <laughs> since the New York Mike days. It's like when you tr we weren't like. We didn't start together, but we restarted together. Yeah, you know what I mean? I like we all true. came from our own little cities. Even though you Chicago motherfuckers had a nice little leg up in New York yeah, at well, the time. We, we did a, a mass sort of like you uh, did. J just a rival. It all really was. Once. You it, all were running every show. Everybody yeah. was getting on everything. <laughs> and then Hannibal, Hannibal was putting everybody up. Yeah, yeah, it was like, what the fuck is this? It got weird. Yeah, but anyway, we did at the same time. So we, we but like, uh, so anyway, I got out to L.A. and I was planning on, I'm taking basically the first few I'm taking a lot of this year off. Yeah. And so, but when I come out of that cocoon, I'm going to be still fat, but mm. jacked, a little mm. more muscular, a little more up top, that you know, Mark Henry, slightly less fat, <laughs> yeah. because that's the thing. When you're fat as shit, 
you could lose 100 pounds and still be fat. That's yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, so I'm happy to be, I want to just be the most fat regular guy. Sure, you know what I mean? Yeah, I want to go sure. back to shopping at the <laughs> at general stores. I want to be able to just find a shirt last minute. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a whole thing. I don't if I'm going to a wedding, I don't want it to take me 6 months to make sure <laughs> yeah. I'll be able to be clothed. When, you know what when I mean? We, when we shot uh the Netflix special Mandel opened for that mm -hmm. and I I he was the first person I wanted to do this thing. We yeah. had this bit where he was reading this poem. Uh, from Love Jones. Yeah. Before, <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> for the the show. I love it. And I was like, bro, you should turtleneck. wear like a turtleneck. You should wear like a, a like a tweed jacket on top. Love of it. that look. And he yeah. was like, man, that's cool, bro. Hey, uh, you gonna have to go ahead and make that official for me. The outfit. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna need about a month and a half, yeah. absolutely, to get that kind of size yeah. for my body. I, that ain't exactly. something I can pick up day of. Yeah, Lacey, 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 exactly. gonna hit me like, yeah, it's whatever. We'll figure it out the week before. I'm no, like, no, we, we won't. No, there's no chance that's it's happening. There's no fear happening. No, 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 absolutely not. Yeah, dude, a uh, hundred percent. There's a lot, a lot that goes. I went to. When you got married, I had to go, I went to Indochino and I literally, it was the last suit they had yeah. in Indochino. What they were like, the guy looks at me like, cause you know, they do custom fitting yeah. and I'm like, great. They'll do any, you know, they'll, the, the anybody. Size don't matter here. We this all... motherfucker looks at me. He's like, oh, he's nervous. <laughs> you know, I get the Indochino. He's fucking sweating, Fuck. bro. And then, and he takes the one, I guess the, the, one before the biggest one, just to kind of give himself a little, <laughs> just to give himself a little breathing room. Her, yeah. And I'm like, come on, bro. Not fitting. And you spotted it right away. And I know. just, cause it's at the very, yeah, you like fucking blew dust off it. There's no, no fat motherfuckers are going to Indochino. And then he goes to the last one and he was like, whew. And then he was not, he didn't give a fuck about me at all. It was yeah. for him to get commission or whatever, whatever the, whatever weird structure they have. Yeah. And he was just like, Oh, whew, thank God, because we straight up don't make a bigger size. <laughs> like he didn't, he wasn't even like, great, sir. He didn't like try and sugarcoat it. He was just like rude. He, just he was like, yeah. being a professional. He was literally like surprised because <laughs> I know when he when I came in, he was like, no chance. Uh, I know that's what he was thinking. Yeah, you know, yeah, he'll wander to me. for a second yeah. and he'll, he'll walk out of here. Yeah, he knows yeah. his place. Nah, <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, yeah. You, I'm I'm fatter than you, bro. You ain't you ain't never. Had them have to pull out a different measuring tape. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the girl trying to get around my way, she said, hold on one second. <laughs> we gotta go get that heavy duty. That's when I knew I had to walk out. So I was at the, uh, and I wasn't even at a fast place. I was at the dang uh, men's warehouse. I was supposed mm. to like the way I look. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to the guarantee, you motherfuckers? <laughs> what happened to him? Is he still with us? I, I think I think he is actually. He's got like He's what's that guy? Okay, Zimmer, right? his, his name's oh. Zimmerman or something. Uh, the, uh, we guarantee it, dude. From yeah, men's you're gonna like the way I look. Yeah, I didn't know the that was bearded a real guy. Dude. Oh, that's a guy. Yeah, yeah. he like dyed his hair deeply. For fuck's sake! What do you, I mean? Come on. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> you're that, you're in the Zen paradise right now, dude. <laughs> you're fucking. I see your eyes darting around your fucking head. You're your cheeks are full. Up on Zen. He is, dude. Um, yeah, bro. It's hard for fat people. It's bro. tough. It's tough. Don't mind me, folks. It's me from the future here on a beautiful balcony in Greece. I just got done at the beach. The beach you see right behind me, swimming in those salty waters, rejuvenating myself. And I was looking damn sexy doing it, thanks to my friends at Chubby's. That's right, I was wearing this swimsuit right here for our audio listeners. You're gonna to wanna to log on to YouTube and look what I'm pointing at. A beautiful stretch swimsuit with uh, hot pink and crocodiles on it, a crocodile print. A very sexy surfer when I was in Malibu. She had big titties, she had big titties. She complimented me on the suit. She was Australian, she said, nice seat, mate. And you know, my dick, I got, well, I'll keep it clean for the, our advertiser, but. Let's just say something inside me stiffened. Huh? These, I have loved Chubbies for years. This is true. We advertise a lot of dog shit on this podcast. This is not one of those products. I have legitimately worn Chubbies since I was, uh, since they came out. I think I was a freshman or a sophomore in college. I love this brand because as a plus size man, a lot of times you buy shorts and you're very limited, right? You get your standard khaki, you get a swimsuit, you might get one print and also, for big guy sizing, 
they very rarely let you have short inseams. Chubbies has sized up to 3XL and you can get an inseam that's four and a half, 4.5 inches. I'm a 5.5 man myself, but this is revolutionary to me, okay? Usually big guy shorts, you look like, you look like a fucking juggalo. You look like you're in the NBA in 2001, like, you know, Allen Iverson, uh, while David Stern was suspending him, instituting a dress code. Baggy as hell, right? What if you're a fat boy that wants to show his thighs off? Chubbies has you covered. I've been a fan for that exact reason for over a decade. I'm so happy that they're back. They advertised us with us a little bit last year with the Two Wolves collection. Um, and I'm just pumped they're back. And you should be pumped too. No other brand has had, for a big boy has the kinds of colors. You know, I'm a, you know I like the peacock. You know I like to look good, right? They have beautiful colors. The They have stretch. And they got not just, I'm a shorts guy. That's how I know them. I'm happy to be back in the mix with them. Because I'm going to try their Friday shirts too. You know I'm a Hawaiian guy. They got fun, colorful shirts. They got prints. Uh, the fabric feels nice. It's comfortable on your big body. Sorry for the little guys. I know they, they got clothes for you too, but I'm talking from my perspective here. I love Chubbies. I've loved them for, like I said, over a decade, and you will too. Join the Chubbies Armada with me. Pledge your fealty to Chubbies. Buy, and you don't have to do it at full price because for our fans, they have a limited time offer, 20% off. That's right, 20% off if you use the code STAVI, S-T-A-V-V-Y. Very important to use that code. They know we said you. S-T-A-V-V-Y. Uh, at checkout, l support the show, look fly as hell for the end of the summer or for the rest of your life. Sometimes I just buy swimsuits to get ready for the next season, baby. Uh, I'm literally wearing a different type of chubbies right now. That's how much I love chubbies. And this wasn't planned. I've been go out of the country for weeks and we just got chubbies to uh, sign on. I just had this in my closet. You know it's a real endorsement, you dummies. It's chubbies uh, and use code STAVI, S-T-A-V-B-Y, I love you, goodbye. Yeah. I have gotten into the, uh, I have definitely gotten into big and tall culture, mm -hmm. uh, the stores, but I'm starting to get a little too comfortable. I don't want to. What do you mean by the culture? Just What's like culture? really setting up shop in big and tall, uh, you know, uh, knowing when the new drops are coming. <laughs> out. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm like, all right. I, it's got, I have certain <laughs> levels that I've hit that I'm like too comfortable yeah, here. It's the... one thing to pop in for a second. <laughs> had a, had a rough yeah. couple months. I need a fucking pants from big and tall. No big deal. But when I'm, it's bookmarked when I know I, Oh, they got, Oh, I mean, they got Nautica this time. You know, like I know yeah. Polo, Polo's all over the big yeah, and tall. Yeah, yeah. I'm thing, poloed one thing, up. Once they go do, they go do that big and tall. They go plaid you. They will plaid you. They, they, uh, will, they will get you they a will print. Plaid you. Uh, they will print. They go print you. You know yep. something? No, that I had a bit about this for a while, but you know the biggest issue for me is that I, and we kind you're a little bit taller than me, and you just overall just, you you're a peak Damn, version. Man, of <laughs> Fight back, man! No, I know, I know. What the fuck? <laughs> know. Bro, we're we're so in the now, same zone. Don't you worry about they it. They be they be so they be so focused on oh if you fat you also tall right oh they, dude. it's rarely like nah I'm just fat and short they like yeah. no we don't that ain't that ain't American it's fucked up to yeah. like it's like come on guys. If it ain't at this store, where the fuck <laughs> am I getting pants? Saying. Come on, you motherfuckers. See, I want a yeah. store that has big yeah. or tall. Yeah, big or tall. I want yeah. big or tall, not big hands. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, while we're on the fucking... Langston, you can leave, actually. <laughs> this is feeling... I'm having a good time. <laughs> while we're on the subject. But I'm not feeling like I'm earning it. You know what I mean? I'm not earning my keep here. I'm proud of you, boys. Yeah. And I'm happy you're dressed, but... <laughs> Based off of your story, it seems like you should be ass naked, just begging it's, for large, large cloths, large short cloths. <laughs> While we're on the subject, what the models are all tall. Mm. Why? Mm. I mean, let me see some representation Absolutely. in my own store. Absolutely. Why can't we get someone mm. who's fat as shit? And sometimes they'll get a chubby guy, but. Give me a fucking obese guy. Absolutely. Yeah. Let the guy be fat as fucking ugly. Yeah. That's who's at your fucking stores. <laughs> I've, I've been saying this the whole time. Yeah. I want to be. I want to be like the first fat uh, ca catalog model. Yeah, yeah. dude. I want to be in there like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I there. want y'all to have the model where you hold your hands up and your belly shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought you relax. I thought you relax. 
You know, you know what? I just want to die for too. <laughs> can, I tell, can, I tell, can I tell you something, bro? Of course, This dude. is when I tried to figure out Langston, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let's get, you know, to, let's get into it. Because this is what I tried to figure him out. Because, uh, you know, I went up on this special. And the, the, you know, like the crowd with all his friends and family, everybody's attractive. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is the most attractive stand-up comedy artist I yeah, ever seen. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, what happened? To that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why right, you, right. Let's not, get to the bottom of why this. Why you got abuse, got abuse like the rest of us. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. There it goes. Emotionally, yeah, yeah, emotionally. Yeah. sure, sure, yeah. sure. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, why is he funny? Right, you right, get what right. I'm saying? Well, it is true that like. If everyone's hot, then no one's hot, Absolutely. right? So he probably got emotionally like some with like maybe you had some hot parents, you know what I mean? Maybe you're, <laughs> maybe, you know what I mean? Like like because uh, uh, like fat fat parents, I will I do feel like the thinner I feel like the thinner you are, the meaner you are. Mm. The fatter you are, the more violent I feel like. Like a real okay. fat like a abu fat abuse is like much more like uh, you know. I don't know, just at least in my ex experience, it's just been like, it hasn't been mind games. It's simpler. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now I'm yeah. fine. Maybe I'm falling into some ugly stereotypes about our body types. But like, it is like that, you know, like I could see it being, you know, some emotionally withholding, you yeah. know, what tell us, like, what's the, what's the back, what's your parents like? We, well, we talked I, about this, I, right? I don't want to uh, just get sad. I, it's yeah, like my, yeah. my parents are nice, lovely people. They yeah. loved me dearly. Yeah. I think uh, I just come from, uh, my mom has been married four times. Oh, my that's dad right. We talked about this three. on the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, I come that's from what it is. That Too hot. Kind of Too many options. <laughs> And they listen. always were looking for better. I, I said that to my mother many times. <laughs> Couple of fat, homely parents right here. They were stuck with each other. So they took it out on their children. Sure. But you know something, bro? Yeah. I, I got the opposite. So my parents was cool. Okay. Like if you look at my dad growing up. Where'd you he, grow up, by the way? I grew up in Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay, cool. Great city. They was cool. So I came out fat, and that was a struggle for them. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, uh, anime. <laughs> They're man. like, come on, man. They'll at least be the nose tackle. Yeah, at least play some football. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> oh, when I was growing up, that's very I, I, when I was growing up, I felt like my dad was always trying to like. He always thought I was might be gay. Yeah, right? yeah. Just but you then were... it hit a point where I could tell that. He, when I got older, he was rathering that I was gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was cooler than me just not being attractive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yes. You getting cock is so much better than wanting but never getting pussy. That's what yeah, I'm saying. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Because then, because that affect him because then that's in the gene. By the way, it's incredible to be so, such a fat loser that your <laughs> father from Atlanta became not homophobic. <laughs> that is like yeah, a yeah, testament yeah. to how much shit was going yeah, bad yeah. for you in middle school. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, fucking, absolutely. I, I do think more people should know how much dick you can get if you become gay. Absolutely. Become, I started crunching it, the numbers. I was like, yeah. I didn't get pussy in high school. So I was like, could I just be gay? Yeah. And it, I ultimately could not pull the trigger. Sure. And I thank God did get pussy by the time college rolled around. Yeah. But for a second, it's like, that is an elegant solution. I, you know, I, is. I've had to play a gay, a gay-ish person yeah, yeah. Uh, on television sure. multiple times. Right. And to this day, it is the most motherfuckers who DM me. Yeah. It's just men showing me yeah. their open asshole <laughs> yeah. and being like, you like That's this? Fun. And I don't. As it turns out, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I've seen enough of it at this point to know it wasn't personal. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It truly is across yeah. the board. None of these assholes of course, have ever tempted have ever me done once. it for you. Yeah. But, but man, would I be cleaning the fuck up oh, if dude, I just decided me? To, Come on. to go the other way? Yeah. That's, that's, hey, bro, and you know something? That's something special that you always have in your back pocket, bro. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Abandon your family. Abandon your family. Become a gay guy. <laughs> Do what everyone thinks happens in Hollywood. Uh, damn, that that is so funny, dude. Do you have any other siblings? No, I'm an only child. Only bro. child. So yeah, that bro. you were it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. were it. Well, well, no, well, I'm, 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 okay. I'm a mom's only kid. My dad had. My dad has like. So many, uh, a lot of kids. So many. Oh, I will say this: he has a bunch of kids because he was cool. Yeah. 
bunch of kids. Plenty of, by plenty. Yeah. 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 I can't say that. That is the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. just, that's empirical data. That's just data. Yeah. But yeah. he's lucky though, because like, I, I'm like the middle um, of all the kids and the, 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 the dude that's Older than me, mm-hmm. who we have the same name. He's cool. Okay, okay. He's cool. Gotcha, gotcha. He he did MMA in high school. Nice, you nice, know what I'm nice. saying? He was very cool. I love cool that you guy. call him the dude, that, <laughs> not your brother. <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman I met. Pretty early yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm mean, kidding. Bro, I, so you, don't, you live in New York. I live in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I live yeah. in New York. I, I have a place in Baltimore. I got a place in Baltimore now. I grew up in Baltimore. Yeah. And part of me was like, I think I'm going to live in Baltimore half the time, being, mm. but I can't fucking do it. That's yeah. tough, it's, I got to be, I, it's like, you realize when you're home, you're like, I can't be here that much. Yeah. I got to get the fuck out of here. But yeah. I do love it. Um, but yeah, I'm in New York and uh, I love it there. And it really made me want to just fucking really get back in the mix with New York in a serious way. Yeah. 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 It's just great. being in Baltimore. Being in Baltimore and also, cause I was like on the road and, and I was like, do I even need to live in New York? It's fucking expensive. Yeah. I have money, but I, I tried to buy a place. You can't buy a place unless you're fucking a Saudi prince in New York. Yeah. Like, it's like you get rich. You're like, great. I've done it. It's like, no, you have to fucking, no, you, you know. got, you got <clears throat> sort of rich. Yeah. I got Baltimore. Realize. I can buy a house in Baltimore. No yeah. problem. I can buy the best house yeah. in Baltimore. You didn't um, realize there were tears above rich. The tears are wild, it's bro. It's insane. Yeah. But yeah. Would you move here? I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to. I really don't want to. And as much as I, I like, I've been thinking about, I've been, cause like I said, the cocoon, I'm in like a little crisis yeah. where I'm trying to figure my life out. Mm. Cause you shit works out and it's like, Oh, I never thought I'd get this successful ever. I thought I'd just get the headline comedy clubs. And so now I'm like, well, I got more than what I wanted, but life still sucks. dick. <laughs> mm. So why did that happen? Absolutely. And so now I'm trying to figure it out. And so I and I'm I want to act a little bit, but dude, ultimately it's fucked up. I just fucking love stand up, yeah. and it just always comes back to that. And yeah. it's the best, it's the best lifestyle if you can just control it a little bit. And I'm just trying to learn not to have to go. Don't get fucked up. Don't go crazy on the road. I probably should try and be in a relationship because then it's like the biggest thing is just getting fucked up and trying to get pussy after every show. Yeah. And if you take that away and you replace that with a fulfilling family life, Mm -hmm. then maybe I won't die at fucking 52, (laughs) which is what I'm cruising for right now. You know what I mean? Like, if if I get there, bro, this is how I believe life works. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. No, I I believe you get all so much all-stars from Waffle House. Yeah. And I done had my allowed it amount for <laughs> yeah. a lifetime. So now every the other one. The next one could be the one that kills you. It's the, I take years <laughs> off my life. So right now I think I'm sitting around 48. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. if I eat another one. Right. We 47.8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 47.7. I don't you know think it's man. a whole month, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're right. Definitely it's coming down. And I'm so not I'm lying. Trying yeah. to, Bro, I want to move here, but the issue is, because I'm I live in Atlanta, and I know yeah. I, sh- I never moved, and I should have. Yeah, I was supposed to move. But I'm trying to move. How old but are you? I'm 30 now. 30. Oh, That's you, why I feel yeah. late to move. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. But I wanted to move to LA. But the issue is all the toilet bowl waters are too low, man. <laughs> I'm with, the flushing and is tough around here. It's sick. Yeah. And then they got nice Mexican <laughs> folks selling bacon wrapped hot dogs. Right. No. <laughs> it's like you can't have both. You can't. No, no, no. Wait, you're saying that the Mexican ladies shouldn't be selling those hot no, dogs? No, I think they should, but if you go have it, you if you a- go have it, you're gonna have some hashtag real poopers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you can't have low bo- toilet water because then you, you get the skid marks. And it's not just yeah. the low toilet water. It's the pressure with which it flushes. That's what I'm saying. You need, you Listen, need a real... This city is on fire yeah. 98% of the time. We, we literally It was raining a lot this it. year, bro. <laughs> Let's get platform, some fucking water pressure up in the, in the toilets. On this platform, I just want to say... Shout out to all my real poopers. Yeah. You should feel seen. You should feel El- loved. Eldis is smiling right yeah. now. You want to talk about love? You know what I'm saying? We lived in a. We lived together, and I think you probably Eldis clogged the toilet at least every two weeks. Let's go. Well, Let's go. Well, that's you were definitely on a two week. Yeah. 
you know, sometimes, I mean, you know, you think you're okay with the toilet paper, but you try flushing and you're right. like, I know that was a two, that was a two wipe and flush kind of thing. Sometimes right, it didn't yeah. make sense, but Whoa, so yeah. you, sometimes it's not even like, oh, I use too much toilet paper. It's, oh, I it's truly... never, I use too much toilet paper <laughs> oh, yeah. for this fucking guy. Yeah. It's, he's a fucking six, five, Al, you know, obese Albanian. Yeah. Who so, now he's looking better than he was when we lived together. Yeah, he was yeah. fattish. We were both really God in a brutal damn. way. Just everything that came out of you was like the toilet said it's, no. It's not a good feeling when you take a shit and like the toilet paper is still in the toilet. That means like the shit clogged the pipes, <laughs> yeah. not the toilet paper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. You're like, 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 it's like you don't even know we're in there. Yeah, <laughs> this fucking guy, uh, it's hilarious. Man, have you ever been stuff. at somebody's house and you clog the toilet and they don't have the plunger, you gotta tell them? Oh, uh, <laughs> definitely. I always be like, yeah, man, my bad for the toilet paper. Even if I know it was just me. Of course, me. if it was pure shit. <laughs> you don't want to so I use too much you. paper. Every yeah. bathroom needs paper. a plunger. Yeah. <laughs> a plunger in the basement. The real poopers. There we <laughs> go. I do believe in that. Yeah. Absolutely. That's that's beautiful. Yeah. Just it's just smart. Yeah. Come I on. I've seen people pull the plunger out of the under the kitchen sink. Mm. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that's, that's twisted. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fucked, fucked up. up. That's twisted. Make you do the walk of shame to the, <laughs> to the thing. But yo, you shouldn't keep that near the kitchen, man. No, I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah no, Mandel. That's... Sorry, can you put that little statue behind the microphone? Yeah, totally. Yeah. In the corner there. Is that cool? There you go. Looking yes, good. Yes, sir. Cool. Yeah, man. It's a. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I I like it out here, man. The, I had an Uber driver who um. He wouldn't let us get out the car before he gave us his brand of meat pills. <laughs> meat pills? I was at I was passing out meat pills to everybody. He said, I quote What are meat pills exactly? Pills for your meat. Oh, so, oh dick pills. Yeah, okay, yeah, gotcha. yeah. So yeah, yeah, he yeah. Was, it was he said it was male enhancement because he said <laughs> men can't get BBLs. Right. So this is they BBL. Yeah. <laughs> so his was more of a plumping situation than a hardening situation. I, he said, he said, man, uh, Keep you going. He said Big Boy, the radio host, saved his family in Aruba <laughs> with his medicine. <laughs> he called it medicine. Because it gave him, like, energy. He said, he, that's what he said. He said he's selling me pills. In fact, I'm going to tell you, yeah. and I'm not making this up. I don't yeah. want to name. I, I don't want to say. I don't want to give him the. Sure. I don't know. But he did say. <laughs> my favorite part was he was like, yeah, man. And if you go down. <laughs> To Hollywood, yeah, it's some cheap models down there. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he's like, yeah, them models down there, they broke. You go down there, you know, you just buy them a dinner, you take this supplement, and I'm like, hey man, I don't think you know what type of dude I am. I'm just trying to figure out more ways to pay my rent with the, with the art. I don't want to go to get the cheap models. <laughs> it's cheap models. Nothing is makes awesome. me feel lower than when you find out. <laughs> what your Uber driver is willing to talk to you about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like as a yeah, character assessment, they go, he looked, I know if I say this, he will still give me good stars. Yeah, totally. Yeah, he absolutely. looked at Mandel, he was like, all right, let, let me let me do some starter sex trafficking <laughs> with this kid. This guy looks like because a guy I who wants know to know how to sex that. traffic some yeah. fucking, uh, some Ukrainians that thought they were getting out of a war-torn <laughs> area. I will, and I'm not making this up. He said, Kevin Hart uses his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart is using me. He said he's trying to get Kanye to use it. I, 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 he, that's what the dude Whoa. says. He's trying to recruit Kanye now. And he told me, he Whoa. said, he's giving them to me for free so I can say it in my set. Oh, wow. He said Gorilla to promote. marketing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, did you take have you tried pills? one yet? Did you, did you? Absolutely not. You know what? You know, you know what my favorite part of this whole conversation? He was like, hey, yeah, man. I got this made by a real chemist. <laughs> and there's two issues that I have with that sentence. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. parts. First, yeah, yeah. the fact that he had to say real. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah absolutely. And second, usually when we put stuff in our bodies, I want a doctor. Yeah, right, right, I right. Chemist isn't good enough for you. Chemist <laughs> is a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah chemists yeah. make potions. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think you're thinking of witches. <laughs> yeah, same thing to me. I'm from the South. Chemists yeah. use, chemist use cauldrons. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's newts and eye of toad and that kind of shit. Yeah, man. But shout out to him, man. He drive. He said he only drive Uber for fun and just to right, meet people. Right. Damn. Definitely. His real business and passion is meat pills. <laughs> that's definitely so. true. <laughs> uh, that's I had fucking. A, I had a Uber driver recently. I got in the car 
and he was playing a YouTube at the front dash. Hell that yeah. just was it was two men arguing about the fact that uh BBLs recently they've discovered that BBLs stink. Mm. That there's like an odor. But that, that's when he was playing with a volume up. Volume up. Wow. It, it was BBL stink and two niggas being like, Yeah, I was with a bitch. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, baby, you got an odor about you. Yeah. Now he let me ask like, you this. Was it playing off the phone or did he have it Bluetooth connected into the whole uh, off Bluetooth. the phone. Bluetooth. Oh, off the phone. Off the phone. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The whole, no. Oh, Bluetooth. Uh, yeah, through the phone, Bluetooth. <laughs> this was for all of our enjoyment. <laughs> That's crazy. That's awesome. Because I've been in an Uber where they'll play like something and they'll personally be watching. No, no, no. You offered me nothing else. That's awesome. Besides stinky BBL (laughs) and light conversation. Bro, that's awesome. Can I? I don't know if I'm taking up too much. No, no, dude. Please go crazy. Can I tell my 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 favorite Uber story? Absolutely. Bro, I'm in Atlanta and it's a dude. He's he's an Uberman, which y'all know based on the. Stories we have been telling, so I yeah. said that. <laughs> but he was driving the Uber, and he's playing a sermon right yeah. in his church. Is he? The church is very, very small, and it's a dude breaking down how uh, Soldier Boy's uh, Yule, a Superman song, mm. is worshiping the devil. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he was like, you know, he was like, you know what they call a Superman, right? And then, and then the crowd is like indifferent in the video. And then he's like, a Superman is what a dude take his stuff that a man, <laughs> only a man can make, put it on a towel, and put it on a woman's back. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally going over and the thing we said yeah, as children yeah, that no yeah, one's ever yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, you know what a RoboCop is? He's like, that's when you take that same stuff, put it in a bucket, and put it on a woman's head. And I'm like, Oh, no. Why he, you know what a robot? And what point God was he is? making? He was saying that we can't let our kids listen to this stuff because uh, they they ingrain and twist this stuff into their heads. But you're putting it in our heads. I didn't dog. know that. I thought we were just dancing. <laughs> and then he pulled out a, 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 a notepad and asked for my email. <laughs> so I got to talk to you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't even a preacher though. So that so he's just talking. Oh, I thought he was no, watching no, it was a sermon. A, no, it was a video that he, oh. he put on a whole laptop, not an iPad, a laptop. A laptop. And handed it to of himself? Us. No, oh, he's just a member okay, of this okay, church. Okay, That's okay. his homie. <laughs> he's just a loyalist to the Superman church. <laughs> <laughs> he put on a laptop, like, opened up, and he put it in the back with me and my homeboy and had us watch this video. Oh, he's not watching with you. No, he's he put like, I got something to show you guys. This, I, think, I thought it was like sitting in the front no. and we all get to experience No, he got in the car. He said, I'm a part of this church. I want to show y'all this sermon. Before he takes his foot off the gas, he opens up a laptop, types in Superman clip because he thought this was going to convert me. Put, the, put it in the back seat and say now, don't you want to join? Don't you want to live a Christian life with me, man? Don't you want to love God with me and my church of five people? That cat was sick, man. And let me tell you That's something. Awesome. He wasn't in the preacher, though. That's yeah, the part I believe that. Me. Of yeah. course it wasn't. He was probably in like a back room. I looked at a house once. I looked at an apartment, and they were just running. It was like a, it's just some like Bahamian dude that was running his own unaccredited church Whoa. in the basement. Oh, my God. It was fucking weird, dude. It felt like a little... It was like a little like voodoo, like light voodoo type oh. shit was going on around there. Plus just a lot of Christian iconography, but it's like you'll get a lot of those little ass churches that it's like, who the fuck is even in charge of this? Yeah. You can do whatever the fuck you want. A lot. I mean, a lot of, I mean, all, a lot of like small, small churches can go very well. That's how, yeah, you that's gotta, how you get a cult starting. Yeah. It's you like got to think cult. about how many churches had snakes that killed people and we just don't know about we'll it. Never, we'll never you know, know about what I mean? it. Like all the ones that are fucking around with like yeah. weird fucking yeah. shit yeah. and it just kills a lady and now <laughs> that church closes up and we had no clue. No and idea. it's a weird thing because I'm a, I'm a Christian, bro. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Atlanta, I feel like everyone is, there's a lot oh, of church going on absolutely. over there. Absolutely. I grew up better. I'm, I'm a, as, as a black Georgia person, I could yeah. be. Yeah. Absolutely. But nonetheless, it do be some insane individual, bro. Absolutely. Yeah. Insane individual, Yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Atlanta also leads the country in, like, church gay guys. 
in like just Absolutely. just choir directors that Absolutely. say they haven't met the right woman yet that are still looking for the right woman Absolutely. when the Lord finally yeah. puts her in his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. different. I but promise. see, here's the thing, though, bro. It's I think that they really do make great music, though. Absolutely. Like, That's all they have. Have you ever been to any of those churches with those guys? Yeah, it's of like, course. They're the best. It's like, yo, that, y'all are killing it. That's why I think parades were better in the 50s. Mm. Whoa. All gay guys had was planning parades. Yeah. That's all they had to fucking do, dude. Yeah. The fucking, I bet you go back in time, the 4th of July parade in 1954 was going off. Yeah, the yeah, floats yeah. were out of control because they can't have gay sex. Because the second you could fuck a guy's ass, you're not putting that much effort into the float. Yeah. But if you put all that... Yeah. All that energy, oh, yeah. incredible, <laughs> yeah, incredible bro. stuff. In the same way, and you still get that at a choir in Atlanta. Is what I'm saying. You still get that energy. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I have nothing else but but my yeah. art, yeah. and I will make my art everything. Why is Tyler Perry so prolific? He, bro, you, know, like, yeah. listen, you say what you want about the quality of the but films. he's coming out. The man does not stop producing ever. Can no. I say something, That's bro? Something. Can I say something? I'm going to say something. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I, am, I do not... Enjoy the Tyler Perry stuff. Sure. Okay. Sure. I thought that. I no, thought no, no, hold on. No, no, no. I am going another way. I am going another way. What's the but? But I do respect it. Yeah. And the reason yeah. why, I know a lot of people don't. Yeah. I respect it because when I was seven years old, yeah. nine years old, we took my grandmama to go see Medea's class reunion sure. at the Fox City in Atlanta. And to her left, to her right, Everybody looked just like her. Yeah. <laughs> and then when he said a lady walked in late, he's, and she had a silver shirt, she said, "You walking in late, like, looking like aluminum foil." Oh. And I saw thousands yeah. of forty-eight-year-old black women. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, this is for somebody. Right, yeah. right, they, right. They like this. Yeah, yeah, These yeah, are yeah. good people. Yeah, yeah. These people raise families. Right, they right, go to right. work, and then they want to come home and <laughs> yeah. watch a dude in a dress <laughs> yeah. act like a grandma. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> what yeah. is wrong with that? You're Not, saying, I, I'm with you. You're saying we are, we're, we're, we're pretending as if these are flyover people when they are valued yeah. citizens of our, These our are real human it's beings. Just, it's just number. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. them. It's that, and he is providing a service for them. I'm totally with you. The fu- the place that gets the funniest is that is when he starts making moral judgments. Like, say whatever yeah. you want about the quality of the comedy, but it's so funny when it's like, in everything, it's like, the wife who was being abused gets AIDS because she, because <laughs> yeah. she like yeah. cheats with a man who over years like she became friends with and they made a real relationship and it's like yeah. it's all the person who loses is always like the, the wife who doesn't, doesn't respect the man. Have sex with yeah, 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 yeah. No, exactly, I, I, exactly. I get that. Yeah, yeah, I, get yeah. every, I get when everyone makes that point. But I think that. But I'm with you, Medea. Medea, uh, th- I tried to get my family to go see Medea's Halloween mm. uh, on Thanksgiving when it was Ooh. in the Dollar Theater. Yeah, and no one would go with me. Yeah, you know. But it's it's a it's definitely f- they absolutely. just like it. Yeah, it's you know unique that, schlock on TV. You know, Boo Medea's Halloween came from a Chris Rock bit. No, really? he heard the bit and he was like, "That's a good idea." Literally, the the year I wrote for the Oscars. <laughs> Uh, Chris Rock put in a bit from from that Oscars room, yeah, uh, about making a joke that next Tyler Perry is going to make Boo a Medea's Halloween. That's awesome. And then Tyler, he didn't ask for consent from Tyler Perry. And then Tyler Perry caught wind of the joke because uh, it airs on the fucking Oscars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah. he basically like pressures Lionsgate. That's awesome. Into like or or pressures them into like a lawsuit type situation. Or he just goes and makes the shit. <laughs> That's hard. And so he went and made the that shit. That actually Bye. is awesome. And then and then Chris sort of clocked it and was like, because he didn't sue Chris. He just made threats and shit. <laughs> yeah. Wrote b- Boo of Medea's Halloween and then never said anything to Chris. And then Chris clocked it. And he had to decide whether he was going to sue. Should he sue for taking his intellectual property? <laughs> it's just yeah, everybody's it's fucking going crazy. That is awesome to be like, yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. I'll make it. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, you like, if you go make fun of your phone, we we gonna take across the country, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna make the movie. We gonna make the merch. The ride. It would be a great there's theme park. Movie. A video game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two. <laughs> there's two. <laughs> it would be an incredible video game. What? what with the we, hunting <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> We're hitting them with our yeah. purse. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. What? I like the idea. I like the idea. It's it's like a it's one of them like investigation games. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to find clues. Yeah, and then you have to like do do different costumes and as Medea he has to dress up as a dude yeah <laughs> oh it's you Medea pretending to be a guy yeah, yeah, to yeah. gain entry in this, like a yeah, man, yeah. some kind of men's only absolutely like, yeah. she has yeah. to sneak into like um, uh, like a uh, what are the fucking what is those secret societies called like like the skull and bones skull and bones yeah. like what were the Simpsons the stone cut the masons yeah. she has to sneak into a freemason's lodge yeah. so Tyler Perry puts on like he hides his fake titties, yep. but he doesn't take them off. Has to hide them over yeah. a large coat. No, it's a Mrs. Yeah. Doubtfire on a top of a, a Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, wow. yeah. oh, a double Doubtfire. <laughs> That's good. Something, something interesting that y'all should check out. Yeah, uh, it's a scene in the Family Reunion play. I've mm-hmm. seen all these plays a thousand times when I was a kid. Did you see them live? I saw the class reunion live, but all the rest of them, the tapes just went around. Right, right, it right. It was like right, right. every every grandmama had these yes, videos. Yes, 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 yes. Bro, it's a one where it's a family reunion, and it's a lady talking to a boy. It, the way the stage is set up, it's outside of a house, and then Medea comes to open the door and tell him to come in. But when he opened the door, he has no shirt on. Mm-hmm. So okay. it's just the fake uh, bags hanging out. Whoa. And it's like a funny little bit. Wow! But like he literally opens the door without no without no shirt. Is he in the crowd? He's wearing a like, fake bra. No, it's oh, the it's the actual I see, like I see, I see. costume Loose bag. Cotton uh, titties. Interesting. Absolutely. And then everybody laughs at it, and I look back at it like, hey man, that was insane, bro. Yeah, really? yeah. <laughs> that was insane. That's it's, why I'm in comedy. <laughs> it's also insane that like I'm thinking about it because I remember those plays because you know growing up in Baltimore, it's like obviously they're coming through Baltimore. Yeah, and and. It's insane that, because I think about that, and there would be Greek, you know, Greek people are like, I don't know, 1% of America, whatever mm-hmm. the fuck, like sm- maybe less than that. And we would have like, we used to have, um, my parents were like a community play thing and they would put on plays to like entertain themselves because they're in a foreign country that doesn't get their culture. Mm-hmm. It's insane how big plays were for black people yeah. up until really like, I don't know, Four years ago, I, yeah. I, you know, there are still. Well, if you listen to real radio, yeah, there yeah. are still some of them plays out there. But, but that's that's they almost don't go like viral, and then become they don't the, have to be anymore yeah. because it's like you know there actually does feel like there's been real like black media with yeah. like real staying yeah. power in the last 20, 30 years. But that is fucking wild how like reduced in the media landscape black <laughs> people, a huge percentage of the fucking, like you had to go do basically your own vaudeville shit <laughs> yeah. for people, to, for, for grandmas to see something. Absolutely. That's fucking Absolutely. crazy. Still still bro. Yeah. And and that, around. But that alone is why I, I'm I'm on board. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I get the people who are like, "Hey, bro, this stuff sucked." And even that point you made, yeah. like, listen, the dude who had money was Donkey Kong in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah, found yeah, a yeah, Christian yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he broke, but he swole, yeah. but he loved God. So yeah. it's cool. I get all that being what it is. I yeah. love that movie, but by the, the way, the one we're talking about where that <laughs> happens. I forget that what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's so fucking awesome Absolutely. when she gets AIDS. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, holy shit, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my yeah. life, dude. I get that. I just be like, bro, my grandmama like it. Yeah, yeah. And other yeah. grandmamas like it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. these people go to work every day. Right. What they I come like, home and watch that. What's yeah. nice about it is when like a black grandmother is ignorant, it's like there's some artistry behind it. Mm. It's not just watching Fox News. Yeah. It's like there's a whole movie about how gay people will give you yeah, AIDS. No. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's, there's like, you know, there's, you know, it's really, there. it's, it's fun. Well, it's nobody more, will ever affirm our grandmother's in anywhere, yeah, like they right, just have lived their lives right, completely right, unaffirmed. Right, so right. everything is just a beautiful invention yeah, right, from right. their heads and their That's hearts. That's true. You know it has I mean? to be insane. You just have to make it up yeah. because everybody is gonna call you crazy yeah. and not acknowledge your fucking existence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, well, shit. Yeah. No, and you're right. And that's the first step. You need someone like Tyler Perry just 
fucking yeah you're not crazy get shit out. look look get, at what i made totally. what i made for you you Yo, you, yeah. you have you're having insane <laughs> thoughts let me just make in the most fucking ridiculous movies yeah, and you ain't crazy. sitcoms you've ever seen in your life and he is cranking them out at, at like a 1920s pace. Yeah, like no, he feels yeah. like he's just actors locked up in a big fucking warehouse, have, and he changes oh, the, the sets are like this quality. I have like a barber. You fucking move I the have walls. A barber in Atlanta when I was shooting down there, who who works on Tyler Perry's studio set sometimes. Yeah, and he said they are shooting 28 pages <laughs> a day. <laughs> For what? some of the shows that they're working on, <laughs> yeah, twenty eight no, sure. pages a day, twenty eight pages, writing it on the fly, <laughs> bro, can like I, literally <laughs> typing the shit out and being like, "Say this," <laughs> and then a man will say it, and then they get to the next goddamn scene. That's awesome, bro, dude. In Atlanta, it's where his studio is. Used to be an entire neighborhood. Wow, <laughs> they changed the name. On the exit from the neighborhood <laughs> to Tyler Perry Studios, <laughs> it's a it's a cult. Yeah, and yeah. he just and look, man, it, the stuff is crazy. Yeah, the wind yeah. be on backwards. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. somebody lost their leg. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Jews, I don't know, yeah, something yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah, stupid yeah. like oh, that. I love to get Tyler Perry's take on Israel. <laughs> uh, now that one, he ain't gonna support the grandma. Yeah. He don't really turn on the grandmas yeah. when it comes to the Israel. It be so. stuff like that. But, bro, these folks go to work every day, they watch the silly stuff, they go to bed. Yeah. No, you're right. No harm, no foul. I'm, I'm yeah. fully with you. I'm on board. And that is, like, the best... When you get down to the best art or even the most prolific art, it's like just someone so clearly not trying to deal with themselves. Yeah. Tyler yeah. Perry just does not want to actually look inward for one second. Mm -hmm. No, that's scary. Not there. for one Come second. On, man. <laughs> it's like, why did John Travolta love being in the woman's fat suit for uh, the that shitty uh, uh, fucking the Baltimore movie? What was it called? The, the John Waters movie they remade? Oh, fuck. Baby face? No, dude. Oh, was this uh, the the where he was I, a mob I can't boss believe, or whatever? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I can't believe I'm fucking blanking on it. It's like a fucking classic Baltimore. Ricky Lake is in it. It's the dancing movie. Whoa, it's John oh, John Waters. Fuck. Hairspray. Hairspray. Mm -hmm. They remake Hairspray. Yeah. And John Travolta. Yeah. Fresh off the scandal where he tried to where he opened his asshole up for a masseuse, <laughs> a male masseuse. He's talking about how he feels the most comfortable he's ever felt in his life. Yeah. Playing a woman in a fat suit. It's yeah. like, all right, John. Come on, John. You said yeah. like all the all the Scientology hide your gayness training didn't tell you to let keep that one inside. That doesn't have to be you know what I mean? Thought. Like, you know, it's like that's and Tyler Parrott's like, what a coincidence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> your trademark character is, but it's like, yeah. Let him run for. He's running so fast away from some realities that he's just has to shoot twenty eight pages a my, day. My only issue, and I, I don't disagree with what y'all are saying, but yeah. my only issue is I do think there should be a cap, and I think it's mm, the, the issue with capitalism mm -hmm. in its in its form. Yeah. No, that's is true. That like, no, run your scam. A hundred percent. All of that. You these people sure. absolutely need to be affirmed. No one should take that from yeah. them. You shouldn't get a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, wrong. Yeah. I'm right yeah. with and you. he's taking up a lot of the oxygen of like being able to like like we can't maybe get somebody else to do a take. Yeah, someone yeah. else take yeah. a pass yeah. at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You know, is is, is he the best Medea? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, you're good. You're pro Medea. You're, you think it should be bad like Batman? <laughs> Whereas if we're getting you Medea, you're like the Joker. We're where every get every prestige actress. <laughs> And see what that's like. Hey. Oh, that's a great just, idea. Come on. You we just need... changed my opinion, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I agree. It should be a cap. Yeah. Because after a while, after a while, it is enough of it. I, I do think my people have seen enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I, I renege on You're everything right. else. Right. 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 still has the tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She don't She's need got more the original. Poison. She's yeah, got no, the original. Right, right, we all right. need a little uh, Pepsi every right. once in a while yeah. to, to feel something, but yeah. you don't got to do that every day. I guess because I, I always made an argument because it's like nobody say this type of stuff about Jersey Shore. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 that yeah, type of sure. stuff. Yeah, like sure. But here's the thing. It's a bunch of trash TV. But the thing is Italians get a there's also Martin Scorsese. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and yeah. like, like I do feel like Tyler Perry definitely takes up a lot of the like, Absolutely. when execs are looking at it, they're like, well, I mean, there's 
there's this much black shit. We don't need, <laughs> no, we don't need any more black shit. Oh, I mean, 100%. you know what I mean? And so, and he's, that's where the cap comes in, yeah. you know? A hundred percent. It's but, too much power. Let's, let's walk it back a little bit. Absolutely. You're right. You're right. Yeah. This Fair is enough. great. Well, we got to the bottom of Medea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Hell, this is about time for us to do some calls. Yeah. We're at about All right. Wow, boys, right this is so fun. We, I mean, definitely, Lang's been on Come Back, dude. Yeah. If you're ever in New York, hit me up. Do, do another man. do another episode. Absolutely. Because uh, I'd love to get more into Atlanta and growing up as a as a fat nerd in Atlanta. <laughs> Tough, yeah, bro. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tough. Because I, I remember, because Baltimore, uh, you know, I grew up, my high school was all black. It was like 85% black. So I know the plight of the fat black nerd. Because it was, yeah. as a white fat guy, you could always kind of like, just be the coolest white guy. Yeah. That's all you had to do in a black mm -hmm. high school as a white person is just yeah. be the coolest white guy. And you were so set. Right. You know, because everybody likes the one cool white guy, the yeah. funny white, the one, the one who like can make fun of other people. But <laughs> boy, must it have been tough for what, being an anime fan. Absolutely. <laughs> like, a but fat can I say anime something fan. Though? Yeah. At my school, we only had one white dude. And I'm going to be mm. honest with you. It was beating the mess out there, boy. <laughs> they was beating the mess. It can't and be one. One is too few. I'm going to say something wild, bro. I'm going to say something wild that I might regret, bro. But if that cat didn't grow up racist, he hated us. <laughs> they was beating the mess out of boy. that boy. He was, I mean, he, they was, I, I just think back on it. And, they were, he didn't say nothing. He just looked crazy. Uh, they were talking crazy to him. He would say, shut up. They said, what? <laughs> <laughs> he probably got that head shaved. Wearing that leather jacket. Man, what? It's yeah, so funny. Stuff. <laughs> Objectively, it's so funny to be racist every single day to the same person. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I got bullied too, it's but I was thing. happy when he pulled up, yeah. bro. <laughs> God, it's one thing to be racist to a bunch of people. I, it's a brand one new guy over and over again. Just the same dude. Yeah. <laughs> just beat the shit out of him because uh, he's white. That's, that's fucking tough. Cool. He probably was a loser too, though, or uh, what? I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Yeah. They was beating on the man. Yeah. I, I mean, I, he never he, had a chance. He eventually left the school. And I'm like, <laughs> honestly, bro, his, his mom was a little late on it. Yeah. It's like, hey, man, it, it's all so much stand up for yourself. Yeah. You go do it. You know what I mean? I'm doing yeah. the whole of his whole school versus you. I think you got to transfer the key. There's no lesson to be learned. Yeah. Yeah. The bullies won. Go home. Yeah, dude, absolutely. It is not a fucking Disney movie. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> All right, let's play. Let's play it. Anything you guys want to plug, by the way, in the, at the halfway point here, fellas? Anything you want to say? I don't got You're good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen to My Mama Told Me. Listen, yep. It's a podcast with me and David Borey. That's right. We talk shit. All right, Eldis, let's see what we got. Hey, Stavros, my sexy little stinky man. What? Um, okay. I just, uh, you stinky. know, <laughs> I have an issue, I guess, where, um, like many men who call into the show, their bitch of a partner just doesn't give them any cooter or any pussy. Whoa. Uh, no, nah, that's like, that's, I'm not trying to be funny. I genuinely think that, like, well, you're it's obviously a common theme on this show. It <laughs> always gives some really good critical advice. I already know you're going to say something very critical of myself. Like, oh, you know, yeah. I'm doing something wrong. Which Vibes is alone. Not always the case. I think yeah, there's well, a lot of guys up here um, who might be in a different scenario than myself. But I, uh, I think that it might be okay to cheat on your partner <laughs> okay. if they're just 100%. They've become like asexual. And my question oh my is, God. do you agree that that's okay <laughs> if you're getting no pussy? Uh, for context, it's been two years since I've had sex. God damn. And it's like actually ruining my fucking life. Like Whoa. I just pa drink pause, all the time. This, pause this. I've got pause all this, this resentment towards this bitch now. Okay. Uh, oh, man. You're not in a relationship anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not, I wouldn't even call it cheating. It's you're a coward who won't. Anyway, let's finish this. Cause this is insane. That, Two uh, years. And by the way, yes, your vibes are so off. <laughs> he, he came in so wild. Truly off. And look, I get that. 
I can't even imagine being an incel while having to do boyfriend shit. Oh. Imagine having to do chores. Oh. It's like at least incels get the game all day. Yeah. <laughs> incels don't ever have to go to the farmer's market against their They're will. Debating over insurance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, still yeah, yeah. not getting pussy. Yeah. That's a nightmare. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm. Before I fully flame this guy, let's let's hear out the rest of his call. I guess. Um, I'm in a situation where I can't break up with them. I can't go into details on that, but I just can't do it. Well, I, then um, we can't answer your so, question. Yeah, man. I don't know. Pause I, it, I would pause love it again. Advice from your beautiful. I'm in a situation. She has a hard drive of child pornography that I downloaded, <laughs> so I have to stay in a relationship yeah. with. I mean, what? What do you mean you yeah. can't break up with her? Yeah, no, that, that, is... that's the part I want to know. Yeah, you can't just not say. You can't be one of the worst guys I've ever spoken to in 90 <laughs> seconds and then be like, but I can't tell you everything. I, I was about to say, he he called with a familiarity as if every dude that calls this show speaks like this. Yeah. And I couldn't tell if I got lucky on my last episode. No, or no, if no, this no. Is this guy's brutal. This, this guy's brutal. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. when I listen, I said, okay, maybe... <clears throat> Maybe I don't know the fan that's base. Not, that's not <laughs> the culture. <laughs> but I think, look, I think my little stinky man, stinky man, would make me block you. No, yeah, this this guy's brutal yeah. for sure. Um, and again, an error in producing. Not nothing we're not used to here at Stop His World. Uh, Elders will do this all the time. Where he'll let the the wrong people through. But go ahead, let's finish it. Beautiful guest and and yourself, my my little prince. But don't honestly, try, don't try and butter like, me up now. There has to be a point in which, if you've spoken about it, which I have, if you've you know tried to improve things that they your partner told you uh, would sort of improve this aspect, and you have like you hit a point where sometimes, in my opinion, it's all right to cheat. Um, which I've not done yet. I'm not, Why I do you like, say it like a BSA? Like yeah. Yeah. I just to wanted to see him. what your opinion was on that. Uh, thank you, my sweet baby boy. <laughs> okay. And uh, thanks, Elvis All right. and, and guest. Bye. He's not... Uh, the thing that, that he can't tell us why they can't break up mm -hmm. is insane. Because what every piece of information we have is that he just has a friend, a person he's had a falling out with. Yeah. This is not a girlfriend. Someone You're not dating someone you haven't fucked in two years. Now, I would love it, and it would show the character of this guy if the the reason he can't break up with her is like, and by the way, she's got terminal cancer. <laughs> like, or something like that. Like, she's yeah. got some kind of disease. But it's like, dude, <clears throat> off of what you've told us, we breaking up is not an option is is a fucking insane thing to say. It's yeah. a, it's you a hate her. You hate you fucking don't. She doesn't like you. She's not trying to fuck you. She, you know, there's something going on. And yes, you're right. My hunch is you're absolutely adding to this situation just because you have that pent up horrible, like I said, incel energy plus the resentment of being in a relationship that's a really bad can, combo. Can I say what I genuinely think he's calling about? Yeah, please. He wants to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely believe he wants to kill that lady. But it's like... Yeah. And I think he cannot bring himself to say that. Right, so he said cheat. So he said, I want to know if you think it's okay for me to cheat on her so that he can start to justify... Yeah, it's the beginning. He's beginning the train of right. wanting to murder a human being. <laughs> yeah. 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 Will not give him pussy. We're not on. You cannot do that. Let me be clear. <laughs> we are staunchly against that. <clears throat> and yeah, dude, it's like I, I just don't the 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 just like hatred in this guy's yeah. voice when he yeah, talks about I, his partner. I, I'm more concerned about the the lady. Yeah. <laughs> I, want him, I want him to break up so he can be away from her. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, he that's hate this lady. He he hates you her you guts. clearly hate her. And and what. A group that's uh, two people that aren't having sex mm -hmm. and one is cheating on the other. How in what world is that a relationship? Like, what do you mean you can't break up? I mean, really, what do you, it, it's yeah. just like it's something. I, this is a horrible call. Yeah. <laughs> this is Elvis. You really blew it. This guy sucks. He didn't give us enough information. And I'm scared for this lady. Yeah. Yeah. Puts me in a bad mood. I mean, really, oh, for <laughs> seven in many ways. Um, and and so yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know. We really can't give you the, the information. You're coming in a little too hot. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and say you're not this much of a piece of shit. 
that uh, you were trying to be funny and then self-consciously pretended you weren't mm. afterwards. Mm. But at the same time, there is just a, just a, something so dark yeah. and sinister yeah, absolutely. in Can your voice. Can I give voice. him some advice? Yeah. Go down, so <clears throat> like the meat pill Uber driver said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, cheap yeah. models. <laughs> Go to the cheap models down in Hollywood. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, I don't want him near that. Him, no, him no, 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 don't need it. No, 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 nice girls. Don't, no, don't, 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 don't take that back. I absolutely take that back. <laughs> yeah. I think you need to uh, get on that lithium. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You need something. Go- and look, Prozac. There probably is, there is better advice to give you, but you cannot tell us, say, give us that call. And not say, I can't tell you why we can't break up. What the fuck do you think yeah. this means? What do you think? What kind of show do you think this is? That we just will guess? Yeah. You think we're just gonna be like, oh, okay, man. Oh, no, I'll take you your word for it. Oh, you, you seem can't cool. do the clear solution, which is get out of this relationship. Then yeah, cheat, bro. Cheat this guy I don't know or like. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he was trying to butter you up too with the towards the light. end. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he remember he was asking for something. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he was asking for. Uh, uh, so can I kill this? Baby? <laughs> yeah, Stavi, please. Yeah. All right. So, like I said, Elders, please keep this in mind. Don't ever, <laughs> don't ever let something like that. The slip. next call is him calling again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got, Eld? <clears throat> Hey, Stabby. Love everything you're doing. I have a different question for you that I've known to ask about. Um, so I was seeing this guy for like two months, and it was the best sex of my life. He knows nice. my pussy at the park. I love that phrase that you said. Respect. Anyways, um, <laughs> he is like extremely emotionally unavailable, mm. and um, he ghosted me like a week or so ago. Um, but mm. anyways, his son, who's like 13, Ooh. and I were like, kind of close like even though i would only see him like once a week he would really um, confide in me a lot oh, poor kid. and you know his dad would like kind of ignore me when he wasn't fucking me when i would come God. over and so i would just hang out with his son Whoa. And, Pause this. Um, anyways this is um, so he fucked ghosted up. me obviously i haven't no nah, yeah. keep going i mean this is so fucked up but i just have to do the whole thing <laughs> that's that's like a fucking like, like uh that's like an indie movie plot, dude. It's, That's like some fucking. It's Teeter and Tyler Perry. Yeah, a yeah. little bit. <laughs> we were talking about that. This, this feels like white Tyler Perry. Yeah. If I've ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Ignore me when he wasn't fucking me when I would come over, and so I would just hang out with his son. And, um, anyways, um, since he ghosted me, obviously I haven't seen or spoken to his son in like two weeks. So I don't know, like, what to do because. Like, one thing that he shared with me a lot about was that, like, his mom had abandoned him and that, like, she never texted him or, like, mm. called, like, even for birthdays or holidays. Mm. And I'm just like, should I text him and, like, just tell him, like, oh, what I happened? See. Like, that his dad didn't want to see me anymore, but, like, I would still be there for him because, uh. like, I just don't want him to think, like, oh, another bitch, like, goes to me too. Just another woman who abandoned me and isn't there for me. So... I don't know. Like, I mean, at 13, he's kind of his own person, but he's kind of like a young 13. He's, he's a just fucking such child. A sweet he's not his own person. And I just really care about him, but I don't know if it's inappropriate. And also his dad, I think, checks his phone. So yeah. I don't know. Should I, like, I mean, text him no, and be like, hey, no, I didn't abandon no. you, and I still want to hear people? you? Or <laughs> no, because the other, his oh dad is going to say it. Wow. Um, oh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> Are you a therapist? <laughs> yeah, that's stuff. Elvis really that? did. Elvis oh. really didn't do you any favor. He got in quick with some wild ones. I, let me, as somebody who's had a lot of step parents, yeah. The, I let me be clear with this young lady and anybody else who's worried about this. Yeah, that child is not counting on you. No. Yeah. Yeah. He, absolutely. There's not. no bond you built. No. Absolutely. That is going to make him need you after this moment. Yeah. You weren't together yeah. long enough. No. You, He's seen a million yous. Yeah, that's the that's the key right there. Is you are so not special here, <laughs> and you're not changing shit. And it sucks. No, it sucks to like the the fact that this guy let you interact with his son. Yeah. This guy's a fucking lunatic. Yeah, yeah. this guy's <laughs> they, he fucked Absolutely. you, and then you played Xbox with his kid <laughs> while he was wild. It's like what the fuck? What do you mean you would hang out with his son if you you fucked and he would ignore you, and then you would hang out with his son? You mean nothing to him, <laughs> and he told the boy that a million times. Hey, can I can I keep it a buck too? I think a part of this too 
And she really wanted to talk to the dude, but Definitely. she acting like the sure, relationship sure, sure. with the kid yeah. is that important. Well, there's a little, there's, look, I think probably this caller is a sweet person I, she, who's definitely. not, who doesn't get this, these situations, yes. right? Doesn't understand this, can't fathom treating a child this way, can't fathom this shit. Yeah. And, and does have good intentions yes. because clearly this kid is going to be, is fucked and his relationship with women is going to be fucked. Sure. The problem is your you will not change it. You will no. not change it yeah. for the better. You will not change it. For, the only way you change it for the worse is if you do something very weird that we're not even going to say. I, I, right? Like, there's like, like, don't get more attached to this guy. Yeah. It sucks. I get it. It sucks. But all this is, is this is like when a, when the car right in front of you gets into a fatal car crash, you didn't die. You saw it. You smelled it. But that ain't you. Yeah. You got to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. That's nothing. And you you say, should I go in? And No, because you're going to also burn up. You can't, you can't, let the fucking first responders take care of that. Let this kid's therapist, when he moves to Brooklyn, take care of this. Because <laughs> uh, it's not going to be you. You're, you're just like, and I'm sorry that uh, this, his dad's kind of a piece of shit. You seem like you have your own issues of, I'm going to guess, trying to fucking fix people. You know, you're probably too... <clears throat> You're probably too into guys like this, completely emotionally unavailable guys. And I, I think to Mandel's point, you also probably are very much wanting that dad back more than you are being hero for yeah. the son. There, there's definitely a piece of this. And yeah. we don't know what the percentages are, that, right? If she's a great person, it's 99 to 1%. Yeah. If she's a piece of shit, which I don't think she is, it's, it's the like... There's definitely insane women. Yeah. Like, she's not insane because she's not already texting the kid. Yeah. There's definitely a, a real dumb bitch move is to be like, oh, hey, I, yeah. I care I about, you so about you so much. I worry about you so much. I worry about you. I just yeah. want you to know things with me and your dad didn't work out. But <laughs> he knows. He knows. Yeah, he knows because there's a different 27-year-old that is fucking on his Ikea futon yeah. that he sleeps on. <laughs> how, long, how long did she say that they was together? Two months. Two months. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah. Oh, I yeah, missed yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking crazy. Right. Yeah, I thought yeah. she. I honestly. That's was what I'm saying, in, bro. Like, this I missed two news. months. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Two months. No, he doesn't give a fuck about you, lady. Well, everything we just said times it times four <laughs> yeah. from yeah. two months. But yeah. you're you're a sweet girl. And by the way, this guy must be good at get, like laying pipe. Yeah. Because that's what she said. Best sex. She said he's not gonna pussy out of the park. That that's what gets you fucking thinking he'd, this goofy. He'd fuck her and send her to the living room with his son <laughs> to play Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. He's like, all right, I got I got some fucking shit. I got. Yeah, fucking, why don't you head on out? But don't yeah, go nowhere. Yeah, yeah, He's like, yeah. God, yeah. Damn. give me thirty seconds to get. Let me once the refractory period is up, <laughs> I'll come get you, <laughs> and then you leave. Well, I, prayers to this young lady, man, and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, get down to that Prozac. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these people on them pills, man. <laughs> All right, Elvis. Anything else? Maybe somebody's uh, fucking parent just committed suicide. <laughs> something light you want to fucking drop on us or something? Hey, Shavi. Hey, Elvis. Hey, esteemed guest. I'm going to try and be as quick as I can because you might hear my kids in the background. Mm. But listen, um, you know, we all inadvertently see our parents nude at some point during our childhood. Um, there were a couple times where I saw my dad nude, and mm. I just saw a bush, uh, no, you know, I try obviously not to think about it much, but there was like no dicker ball that I could see. <laughs> and then throughout my childhood, he kind of made co offhand comments about having a small wiener. Mm. And I didn't think much of it for years and years, and then when I was in my adulthood, I got really good at, at like finding information on people. And then like a family friend on my mom's side who doesn't like my dad was telling everybody that he's a tranny. Ooh. And I decided to use those skills to look into it. And I cross-referenced and confirmed 100% that my dad was born a woman. Wow. Um, and I can go on and on. When I was younger, uh, they told me a story about how he fell off a dock onto a boat or something. And he had broken ribs, and he came back with scars on his chest, and he was in the recliner for months and months. Uh, uh, what the it, fuck? Looking back now, everything kind of makes sense. Yeah. And the problem Holy is, shit. they know. I'm pretty sure they both know that I know, and they still um, completely ignore the topic altogether. The thing is, I'm 33, and he's 70, so I don't know why it's such a big secret. Like, 
I want to know why he isn't telling me because I, like I would I'm not binary, so it's not obviously like I don't get a shit. But it raises the question: Why don't they want to talk about it? And is my dad like like who? If, if he's a biological woman, and I know my mother is a biological woman, um, that raises the question for me, who's my dad? And maybe that's why they're trying to hide the subject from me altogether. He's a very convincing trans man. He's like 70. He's not going to live forever, you know. I just kind of want to get to the bottom of it, but I'm, like, nervous to bring it up. And I kind of don't even want to, but I also want to know, like, why he didn't want me to know, and I also kind of equally want to know, like, the logistics then, so who the fuck is, uh, is my dad? Like, my, you know, I mean, my dad is my dad, but, like, I kind of want to know what happened, you know? Yeah, of And course. I just feel like they're hiding us from me <clears throat> intentionally, and I don't know what to do. So please, please help me out. Eldest, another just... <laughs> I mean, you're O for three, bro. Can, <laughs> well, I mean, this is a good question, but like off the heels of two wild ones, you just fucking up the stakes again. <laughs> it's insane, dude. Yeah, this is insane, bro. That was irresponsible, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this this idea is I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm like, hey, bro, it's so many people involved with this. Yeah. Who go see this? Yeah, go know his voice. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah, know yeah. this story. And then how does he come back? They be like, so you went? Nah, dude. <laughs> you know the internet has to do about yeah. your dad after you done kept it a secret from you for all your <laughs> years. Now you done let the whole world know. <laughs> nah, dude. His old ass dad can't figure a fucking podcast <laughs> out. Uh, this is crazy. I mean, yeah, this is crazy. fucking That's crazy. Really hard. That's like the thing. to not to just like. Not know, and then well, how old did he say he was when he figured it out? Did he say thirty three? Right, <clears throat> he he's thirty three now, he's 33 but 33 he said he now. like figured it out. I so don't must think have he been, specified his but age, but like when it he seemed like it as an adult, right? Yeah, yeah. That's wild. I mean, <clears throat> first of all, shout out to his dad's team because <laughs> I mean, this is—he's trans like in, in the eighties. You yeah, couldn't yeah, fucking yeah, tell. Yeah, he pulled it yeah, off. They, Ooh, they what's really, that guy? What's his what's his fucking surgeon up to now, bro? Absolutely. Give that guy, give that guy the Ben Car gifted hands. They yeah, should, that they man, should. That's that, the that's, that man is on a yacht somewhere. That, oh my shrimp. god! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That this is, is a complicated. That guy's thing. nice with it. Yeah. Well, well, what I'm trying to figure out is. Is his issue like he wants to talk about it, or is his issue that he wants to know who his biological father is? I think it's both. Is? I think what he's talking about is like, hey, I'm sort of curious about where I, you know, what, where's, wh where my, where's my biological dad, whatever. Uh, but I think he's also like, why don't you trust me enough to talk to me about mm -hmm. this? And yeah. I just feel like, you know, we're both adult. We're all adults. They seem to be. He seems. I mean, I guess one weird possibility when you keep something like this secret is if your kid turns out to be, uh, you know, hateful, <laughs> you know, yeah, like, who sure. would like, but like, clearly this isn't what this guy is, he's right? Not, he said he, uh, not, they are non-binary and, yeah. And, oh, they said they, I missed yeah, that. Yeah. I missed that. It was fucking, sorry. Bit of a rambling call, no, bud. No, no, <laughs> no. But I don't mean it to be like a yeah. correction, but no, no, more I know. just like, yo, that's a liberal motherfucker. Exactly. It's this, fu yeah. Yeah, he on board. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Then it, then the, then it's like, then especially if you're non-binary and you've talked ostensibly talked to your parents about your own gender yeah. identity, it's not a nice time to be like, hey, <laughs> by Good the news. way, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. not alone out here, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly. And look, <clears throat> the thing is, the reason your parents aren't telling you is because uh, they, because it's a hard conversation. They don't feel like having it. Yeah, I mean that's really my. I mean I don't know that, but that's my hunch. Now, it is your right to ask these questions. Yeah. It, yeah. You're their fucking kid. Um, that 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 is on them. I mean, they, they can handle it however they want, but you also have absolutely the right to be like, what and, and what the fuck's going on? And not even so much about the trans thing, which is that's between you and your dad, I guess, but the adopted or potentially adopted or your mom was with somebody else yeah. or was it a donor? Was it like, there's just... There's so many questions that you just would like to know, and I don't know. And the caller said, this is my dad. That's who my dad is, but I'm interested in who, where I just come from. 
that's totally, and we've talked, this has come up a little bit on the show. That's a personal decision. Some people want to know. Some people don't give a fuck. Yeah. If you want to know, you deserve to know, I think. Yeah. And so, you know, what to do about it? You just kind of have to press your parents on it. If you want to know. Yeah. Which sucks. I mean, at least the, at least the like, where do I come from aspect? Um, and just like, why don't you guys, why don't you guys telling me about this? Yeah. And I, I think, I, I think they like, probably yeah. are uh, <clears throat> taking some pride in, in like not wanting to hurt their parents and shit. Sure. It's like, well, I, I, I want them to be okay. I want that. Like you're obviously a kind person in that sense, but that's not a, an, an unkind thing to ask. Totally not. That's a, it's a very <clears throat> reasonable thing to be asking is like, A, I understand what you got going on. Yeah. So I need more information about me and my life yeah. beyond what you have yeah. going on. And that's okay. And yeah. I think nothing's wrong with, nothing's wrong with, um, you know, advocating for their self in this situation. Yeah. For sure. Because I'm like, I do think that if you, if you're like, hey, I want to know exactly where I come from. Yeah. That, that doesn't mean that you're, uh. Trying to hurt them, you get what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly, yeah. and that's that's the thing. If your parents take this the wrong way, they're being dickheads. Yeah, yeah. you're in yeah. the right. That's yeah, that's yeah. the thing I want to stress here. And your parents sound cool, and I'm sure for your dad, it's obviously a very personal thing. But hey, when you have kids, you fucking you kind of you owe it to them to kind of explain mm -hmm. a lot of shit to them. And, and keep I, explaining shit. You yeah. don't get to just stop explaining totally. shit because I like finished growing up. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. no, nah, you got some you're, explaining to do all the way to the totally, end of this Totally, totally. No, you're not some stranger yeah. who came across the information that, let's say they work with your dad and they're like, hey, Gary, you used to be a chick. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's you're his, you know, you're, you're his fucking son. Yeah. So you can ask like, Whoa. Like if my dad was, you know, if, if, if your, if your parent had any kind of like wild story yeah, about yeah, themselves, yeah. some past life, if you're, if you're fucking, if your mom was a circus acrobat and she never told I you, should know. you know what I mean? Like, if like just something. And I know, you know, I know it's not transitioning genders and that crazy, but it's kind of crazy to never tell your fucking kid. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least like as an adult, you know, handle it as they're, when they're little, whatever you want. But it's like, grown non-binary child who's probably had a gender discussion with you. It is a little weird. And if you want to know, you know, so it's up to you. You got to, you got to just kind of barge in the way you would with any kind of family secret, which is just yeah. going to be uncomfortable. It's like, it's going to, they don't want, they haven't told you cause they don't want to. Right. But it's your right to do it. And you know, yeah, don't Just wait it out. Fuck. He's 70. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he yeah. ain't got much longer. Yeah. You got totally. to get this get in question there quick. Asked. Who knows what that surgeon was up to to make him look that good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know what chemicals are coursing yeah. through your dad, you know. I'm going to take all the fat from your heart and put it in your ass. <laughs> <Yeah. sometimes. laughs> the, the, the America's first BBS. Yeah. <laughs> all but right. no, no, you're right, though. It is their right, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Cheeks, good to see you. Benny Butt Cheeks checking in, everyone. Uh, all right. Play something. Let's see, Eldis. Hey, yo, stop what it is. Eldis, how's it going? <laughs> what the Hello, fuck? guests. <sighs> so, I'm almost 40 years old, and I have a job where I'm slinging some sweet, sweet treats over a counter here in a small town. Okay. And... I don't have ginormous state drooper cans or anything. I don't know. Okay. I feel like I'm like, okay, but like, I'm not some hot young piece of ass okay. and whatever. It's fine. But like at my job, work for tips. Mm. So if you were to tell an elderly millennial the best way to get good tips while selling coffee, donuts, and burritos to construction workers at mm. 6 in the morning. What would your advice be on that? <laughs> All right. Thanks. Well, we need a safety uh, yeah. net in this country. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is fun. The problem is that you're 40 and you sell fucking burritos. Yeah. It's not. How can I slightly objectify myself to make a living in America, in the richest country in the history of the world? How do I show my tits a little bit so that I have a roof over my head? I mean, this is fucked up. We need continuing hey, education. That was dismal, bro. Yeah. Like, like, that was some dystopian. Yeah. Like, I know. 
though. She I do like, like how you how they all try to talk like you. Do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know. Good. She's trying to be. She's clearly trying to keep it light and fun here. Um, <laughs> she said, "Look, let's be clear. My tits suck. Yeah, I don't. I'm not Trash. that hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I cannot sell pussy just off of the the quality of of the appearance yeah. of the pussy. I don't know. I'm gonna good, be good at your job. <laughs> you get good tips in the service industry. Remember orders. Learn to socialize. A sweet perhaps. smile. Nah, man. Go, go get that cyber security certificate. <laughs> The cyber security certificate. My homeboy, he went and got that. He made six figures Ooh, in two shit. years. Cyber okay. security certificate. <laughs> there you go. The net, net, network Plus, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. That's what get you right. <laughs> that's a good idea. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is, this is really tough stuff. But, uh, you know, construction workers... Since when are they the most picky guy? Like it's the yeah, other thing. Yeah, that, but that's what I mean. She's I, really telling us what she what she cannot do, and it's sell ass, right? In right. a way that that makes it feel like, well, well, then we can't help you. Yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right, right, it's right, everything right, right. else because you're presenting everything else. Right. You're saying like, look, I am giving my personality. Yeah, I see, I see. I I've see. done everything else, <laughs> and I can't sell ass. So what can I do? And it's like, well, I don't, I don't. Has know, she girl. though? Because I think she's a little in her head. Oh. So what I'm hearing is someone who doesn't believe in herself. Mm. And what I'm saying is these are fucking construction workers. Um, you know what I mean? This is a, so there's a, we've got a 410 Guatemalan guy mm. who would <laughs> kill for a smile from a five. You know what I mean? Like, like that's, that's what I'm saying is yeah. like, like this is like, we like, don't sell yourself short. You can't, you maybe, you, you know, this sounds like to me, not only it's, it is dystopian in many ways. Cause it's also, I think like, you know, what, what do you think construction, how hot do you think it has to be to be objectified by construction? But, yeah. but also, too, I think there's other ways to get tips, too. Yeah, man. there is. But I think, like, she could just be really nice or she could wear a T-shirt that say, hey, man, my kid's going hungry, man. <laughs> <laughs> my back is against the wall. Free hash brown. <laughs> Throwing a free hash brown. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Steal from your employer and try and launder it into tips. There it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, giving away something free. You're going to yeah. get tips, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, you, and then, you know, the thing they do in like coffee shops where it's like, uh, you know, you know, get, like right now they might have something like tip. I mean, not anymore, but tip if you think Kendrick Lamar or Drake won. You know, when they do like a, uh, this or that. Now it is construction workers. Yeah, they're not. They're so you're going to have to do something like, uh, you know. Do you like the Punisher <laughs> flag or do you like a Blue Lives Matter bumper sticker? Like, which which Blue Lives Matter, uh, you know, merch do you like? Do you want now Punisher Blue F Lives Matter? 150 or F250? Yeah, yeah, which? Chevy or Ford, <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Something like that. Um, Here, rock. Uh, yeah. So, but that, you know, I also think she needs to believe in herself a little bit. She seems a little self-conscious. Yeah. And I think it's not, you show, you show off those freckled, saggy tits, I think you'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. What, what do you think, Stuff? One more? Or? Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is more of an update. Okay. Oh, no. Hi, Stuff, elders, guests. Um, so, I'm one of the mentally ill women who listens to your podcast nice regularly um and i also have a broken pussy uh, but i would like boo. to report that <laughs> a bit of advice that you gave not to me this is not an update but a bit of advice you gave uh works um nice. so i have type one herpes okay um and i hooked up with somebody last night and I tried your technique because I've been nervous about this for a while and I've never had to tell anyone before um, because I got it in my last Ugh. situationship. Ugh. And we were hooking up and I waited until sex was imminent. Smart. <laughs> to tell him <laughs> That's what I tell people with herpes. That I have Women him. with herpes. And you were right. It, stopped, it didn't stop him at all. So <laughs> it's the other women out there. If you have herpes and you wait until sex is imminent to tell them, um, they'll probably you'll probably still get laid. So. That's what I'm saying. Whoa. See? Yeah. 
Thanks, Dov. I That's really needed that advice. I really like that she turned it out to the broader audience. <laughs> yeah, at home. <laughs> absolutely. That's what it, that's what the show is here for. Because I hooked up with a girl who told me she had herpes, and I was, and, but she's on medicine, whatever. Yeah. I was going to use a condom anyway. It's like. Okay, and like yeah. you know, mom, my dick is already hard. Mm -hmm. We've been, ki I've felt the titty. I'm not not fucking. Right <laughs> and so I've just put myself in everyone's shoes. It's like, look, yeah. tell me if you have the steel willpower. If you really, <laughs> really are fear herpes that much that you can say no to pussy with a hard dick. Yeah. Hey, more power to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think that's when you tell someone because that's when they need to know. Yeah. You know, that's really when they need to know. And then let them make their own choice. They have the choice, but they don't have to have the choice the moment that you no. that you meet. Because somebody have the else choice further down the line, a different girl I hooked up with didn't tell me the first time we fucked, and mm -hmm. I'm good. I've I've passed. That's crazy. You know, but and then by the way, she was hot as shit. She was a freak. I liked her. Yeah. If she had told me, I wouldn't give a fuck. But she told me after, and I was just like, I just didn't, I hated that move. Yeah. So I was like, I can't fuck with you anymore. Whereas the other girl, even though I didn't hook up with her, I only hooked up with her once, but it was still like, she told me. Mm -hmm. and, I was, and I was like, yeah, I didn't give a fuck at all. So yeah. congrats to this lady. Uh, you Hell know, yeah. you're put, I, type one, is that the good one? What, isn't one not really herpes? Does anybody know? If she has it on her pussy, I mean, I think <laughs> yeah. that's the main difference. <laughs> that's right. Dr. L just checking in. You're right. You're Isn't right. Is it one more pussy oriented and one's like, you know, L just. Ben says, no. Ben, hop on the mic, dude. Go ahead. Uh, I know a lot about herpes. I've done my research. Uh, it, it, it was generally that herpes 2 was considered the vaginal one. Herpes 1 was the cold sores on your mouth. But mm. these days. It's all up in the air. It can be I either see. of them anywhere. So interesting, mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, but it's also like one in four people have it, or one in three people have herpes. Have, what? Yeah, and they they that's why they don't really like you to test for it or even suggest that you blood test because so many people have it and it freaks everyone out. It's way over stigmatized. Re anyway, that's all. Do you have it? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, Benny Buttcheeks coming in at the end here for the Benny Buttcheeks herpes update. Um, all right, well, listen, Eldis, really pretty much a horrible episode on your part. You nah, really this bummed us out. This was fun. <laughs> you really bummed us out. You did three that should, we had three calls that should have been like a, you know what I mean, like the heavy one of the episode, but you, you hit us three over the head. <laughs> you beat the shit out of us. Yeah, we went straight from Medea into all this bullshit, but you know, <laughs> we ended on a positive note. Our friend got her pussy uh, smacked around a little bit, even though it is herpes ridden. Let's um, go. And that's what we like around here. We like our friends <laughs> to get fucked. So uh, thank you guys. Thanks. It was such a fun episode. It was so yeah. funny. Hell yeah. Uh, come back anytime. And uh, uh, thank you guys for listening. And we will see you next time. And uh, we we're about to do a Kush Brothers with Bunny Butt Cheeks. Uh, we're, we're, we're having a good time. So. We'll talk to you guys soon. Can bye I say bye. One thing? Yeah, yeah, please. I apologize for any crazy thing I said. <laughs> <laughs> I said a lot of crazy stuff no, on this No, no, no. You did great, buddy. Thank oh, you. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having me, bro. All right. Play us out, Elders. <laughs> <laughs>